Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly run a drip leg with a regulator to a gas furnace. Okay, so the key here when you're doing this is obviously you need to know where the gas is coming from and where it's going, right? So in this case, the furnace would be here and the gas supply or the meter is somewhere over here. Okay, so you're going to put a cutoff, then a drip leg, then a regulator than the furnace okay so the key to doing this is to have the gas change directions so that sediment can fall into the drip leg okay so I'll show you the correct way to do it then I'll show you the wrong way to do it which is pretty common and then I'll put it back together and show you the correct way again okay so this is the correct way so what I mean by the gas changing directions is in this case the gas is coming this way then it's going to change directions because it's going in this direction then it's going to go up okay so the gas is coming here it goes up and because it's changing directions the sediment is going to fall down into the drip leg so imagine this being up horizontal like that okay so use your imagination all right so gas comes in gas changes direction goes to the regulator and goes to the furnace okay now I'm gonna show you what I mean by gas changing direction okay this is the wrong way to run a gas pipe okay so in this case the gas does not change direction so the gas is coming in here and it's just going straight to the regulator in the previous example it was going up and into the regulator so going over and then up that's a change of direction so the sediment is gonna fall in in this case, the gas is just going straight through. Now, what's going to happen is it's just going to blow through with a lot of pressure and all the sediment is going to go straight through. So we need the sediment to fall, like in this example. Okay, so gas is going to go over. It's changing direction because it's doing like this. The sediment is going to fall down in here. Gas is going in, going up, and going over. So take a good look at that. This is how your gas line should actually look. Okay. All right, now, so I'm gonna give you a quick little tip when you're doing gas pipe installations on furnaces. This is residential, okay? Now, you'll typically have, well, here in North Carolina, most of the furnaces are either natural or LP. We don't do a lot of oil burners here because it's not that cold. It's just, this isn't a market for oil burners. So, when you're installing a natural gas furnace, you need to take a look at the regulator and it needs to say NAT for natural. If you're installing an LP furnace, your regulator is gonna say LP. Now there's situations where you can use one for the other, but just as a general rule, when you buy one, NAT if you're natural, or buy one that says LP if you're working on LP. All right, thanks guys.